so good, so good, so good. Hello everyone, it's me, Donovan, Disc Golf Hunter. We are back in Salt Lake City, Utah. I woke up at the holy butt crack of dawn this morning so I could drive down into the city and meet up with my boy Jared. You guys remember Jared from Basket Case Productions. I will provide a link to his channel down below. We are gonna try and play Creekside again. However, it did snow a couple days ago and I was like, it's not gonna be that bad. It's pretty bad down here. There's probably a good three or four inches of snow. Uh, so I'm, I'm down here though. We're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, when I woke up this morning, it was nine below zero. <laughs> this morning when I woke up, it was nine below zero, and uh, now it is a nice balmy 15 degrees. Uh, it's supposed to once the sun comes up over the mountain there, we probably get another two or three degrees of warmth. So 20 degrees, but. I'm ready. We got all the gear with the hand warmers. Just ate this delicious spicy burrito from uh, Rancheritos, which is right around the corner. Uh, so good. So we're going to gear up and uh, we're going to get started. So thanks for tuning in. Uh... And there he is. The lonely walk of shame. <laughs> so there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Jared Williams of Basket Case Productions. How you been, my friend? Been good. It's been a busy year. Yeah. Good to see you again. Glad yeah. you made it out. Absolutely. Uh, let me ask you this. Have you ever played in uh, 17 degrees when it says feels like four before? No. I've always prided, prided myself on like cold doesn't bother me. I'll be fine. But we're going to we're gonna see today. Yeah. Jared was smart enough to bring some ribbon and some tape for the discs because he knew that the snow was going to be thicker than I did. So. Yeah, we. it's kind of funny. You got here just right after we were clear and the last dumper had just melted off. There wasn't any snow out here. And then the day before you flew in, we got a foot and a half right. in this area. <laughs> so I remember we talked and I was like, oh, it's going to be fine. So, But we're going to give it a shot. We're going to go out there and play some holes and have some fun. So yeah. stick around, check it out. Okay, one last question or first question. What hole here at Creekside would you say is the signature hole? <laughs> well, there's two, it depends on what you're going for. If you're going for an ace run, then the last hole, I know it is 20, but they've recently renamed uh, or renumbered a lot of the holes. Okay. But that's the one a lot of people try to run. But right now we've got hole one that's in a placement that I don't think you've seen before. It's a fairly oh, no. new placement and uh, behind a wall of trees and definitely the farthest one out here All right. currently today. Cool, well, well we'll do some in-depth analysis on those holes when we get there, so. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why the ribbon trick comes in handy. Otherwise, that would have been quite some time looking around. So, what's the longest you've ever spent looking for a disc in the snow? Zero minutes. This is my first time really playing in the snow. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. I figured I, for you, you'd, you'd be pretty familiar with that. I played in the snow, but I usually will wait like five, six days. It's melted a little bit and it's refrozen, so like it's kind of crunchy. Down. It's crispy, so like when you throw, it just stays on top of the, uh, on top of the snow. This is like fresh powder. And it's my first experience with it so far. I'm getting a workout. My legs are getting worked out. Definitely have to hike harder, so. Uh, shout out to Merle Boots though. The Moab 2. Keep your feet dry and keep them warm. So. Ooh, park. Blam. Jared, we're on hole four. This is a good time to tell me three fun facts about Creekside Disc Golf. Cool. Three fun facts about Creekside. Um, well, I'd say the most fun thing out here is definitely the community that we have. 
you can always show up here by yourself. Uh, well, with the exception of 8 a.m. on a day after a foot of snow. But typically, you can show up at any time of day and only have to play three or four holes by yourself before you end up running into a group member that you know. Um, another fun fact is the baskets do change placements very frequently. Um, again, minus the foot of snow. How many placements per hole do you think there are? There's at least three on every hole. Most of them have four or even five. Right. So yeah, and so very never gets big boring. range in distance too for each one. So all right, and let me ask you about the third fun fact. Last time I was here last year, the sign said somebody somebody memorial, and I thought that guy was the inventor of the frisbee. Is that Walter true? Walter Frederick Morrison. Yep. There you go. This was his disc golf course, or at least that's what it was named after. But and then we call it Creekside now. Right. <laughs> yep, that go. is correct. And look at that view. Oh my God. So. Here on hole five, the line you want to take in winter to really get your style points. Right through the snow there. Good right through shot. the snow and then continue forward. All right, kids, you know what time it is. This is What Would YouTube Throw? We are on hole six. It is in the B position, 230 feet. It does have a kind of a downhill and around to the left uh, line. Very dog leggy. Yes, absolutely. So tell me what you guys are throwing in the... Comment down. Jared, what are you throwing? I'm throwing a river, but I usually only throw a river or a T-bird on this course at least. Right. I have a feeling this one's going to go very badly. Could only hope. Uh, nope, that's... That's what we call a grip lock, kids. <laughs> I'm throwing my ladies first lucid escape. Yeah, you don't want to run up on this one right now. And that's the line you want. A little tight, but we'll see. So I threw my escape. It did okay. I think I hydrated it a little too early. Hit some foliage, hit some trees. I'm trying to go down these stairs so I don't want to die. Ah. Jared threw his overhand, he kicked a couple trees, but he kicked out, I think. So he should have a decent look. So let's go see. I gotta tell you, keeping a ribbon on your disc in this kind of snow is absolutely paramount. It's been very helpful so far. So get those ribbons, kids. I'd like to thank my, my ribbon sponsor, Michael's Hobby and Gifts. Just kidding. This is why you have ribbons, sirs. Very smart. been right on line for the last placement. I just wanted to set my bag down at the next pad. Oh. So tell us two things. What's your favorite part of disc golf? And what is your favorite thing about this course so far? Okay. My favorite thing about, I'm gonna answer the second question first. Uh, I love the multiple pin placements here. Uh, and the fact that it's a park course, but it feels very much like a woods course, is really cool too. Uh, so that's what I enjoy. Uh, last time I was here, I was very challenging. This year it's challenging too. Obviously the snow's factoring in, but I can see why people want to come play here all the time. My favorite thing about disc golf, it's got to be the community. It's got to be the community. Uh, when I moved to Illinois, I didn't know anybody there, and I started playing disc golf, and I got sucked into these uh, leagues, and I met so many cool people, and I've networked. I've got you now. I got all these cool people that I've met through the game of, of disc golf. So I've really got to say that's my favorite thing. 
Alrighty, well there you have it. That was 18 holes in the snow. So much for it just being a little bit. It was up to a foot, foot and a half at some point, at some parts. Uh, snow up to our knees. Uh, I'm happy to report that my Merrells stayed dry and my feet are still warm. Thank you again to Jared Williamson for coming out and playing with me. Make sure you guys follow his channel. He's Basket Case Productions. And like I said, I'll put a link in the description down below. Go over there, like, and subscribe his stuff. He does all kinds of crazy weird stuff. So check him out. Thanks for watching. Always appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell strangers, tell people that work. Just get the word out. Okay, we need to go viral here. All right, till the next time. See you.